At ILC, we know that prevention works, it's cost effective, and it can deliver benefits that extend well beyond the healthcare system. But if we want prevention to truly deliver these benefits, we must ensure that preventative services reach everybody equally. We must ensure a democracy of access. As part of our Delivering Prevention in an Aging World program, ILC held its first uh, consultation roundtable, Democratizing Access to Prevention. This marks the first of three consultation um, discussions where we bring together key health and policy experts to uh, respond to our consultation paper and to help us uh, better understand how we might deliver prevention in an aging world. And in particular, how might we overcome the barriers that healthcare systems face in democratizing access? Throughout our discussion, some really key and interesting points were raised, the first of which was that we must ensure that individuals are at the centre of policy responses. This means that we must ensure individuals are equipped um, with the right knowledge about their health so that they can better advocate for their health. They must be aware of their rights as a patient. And we must also ensure that healthcare systems um, are equipped to, to respond to the diverse needs of, of individuals, the device, uh, health needs that they face throughout their lives. This means that healthcare systems need to be reoriented to follow the needs of the patient rather than the other way around. And we also know that the voluntary sector plays a really crucial role in delivering preventative healthcare. And our um, stakeholders said that this was a really important area that we need to focus. We need to strengthen our relationships between healthcare systems and civil society so that the pathways to accessing services are clear and people can receive um, preventative healthcare at the right time. And finally, our stakeholders said that we must address and tackle ageism seriously. This means that we need healthcare systems to be age friendly and we need all professionals, all healthcare professionals, all of those involved in delivering healthcare to um, be educated on ageism. That means all the way from those um, still receiving their education to those well established in, um, in the sector. Although we've had a roundtable discussion, we know that the discussion does not end here. So if you have any ideas, further insights into how we might democratize access to prevention, I invite you to respond to our consultation um, paper, which you can find on our website.